Well, hey everybody, Chris from uh, Pebble Creek here. Uh, happy Sunday to everybody. Uh, so today's video is a little late. Yesterday I had a bad headache and I never got to the bench at all. At all. Um, I did a little bit in the evening. Um, so I drilled out some portholes. Uh, scraped some things out the side. I got, I'll show you how I did that. And uh, this morning I sat down at the bench and realized that uh, that this four piece of uh, superstructure is not going to be one video. <laughs> so there's quite a bit of stuff that's going to have to go on to this. So uh, you all have to just bear with me as we move along. But I think today uh, I'll show you the quick clips of cleaning the parts off of the superstructure, drilling the holes. And uh, I think today what we're going to get done is we'll get this painted and uh, let's put some lights in it. That sounds good. Um, so some of the things that we're going to be lighting up, like uh, so we got the 2 millimeter and the 1.5 millimeter fiber optics. So we'll be putting those in all the portholes. And uh, there's a couple uh, doors there and they have the... Uh, the the one millimeter holes where I got those drilled as well uh, lighting as well there's the tunnel that goes underneath the uh, the catapult and I'm thinking I'm going to drill so we can get that there you can see there's these little notches here hang on notches here and I'm thinking if we just drill holes by those notches it's a little awkward for me the camera is not a mirror image so um if we drill holes in this just behind those two notches i got the really fine leds i'm thinking i may even put a third here right here in the middle just to light that tunnel up and i was thinking if we light the tunnel up then that'll just give it just that little bit of extra. Um, I honestly don't think we're going to get much further than that today. But after that, there's a big giant piece of photo which that's got to get put down on the deck. And uh, I had watched Steve over at the model shed. And uh, if you ever want to see somebody that really knows what they're doing, go check him out. Because unlike me, I'm just winging it. And he actually knows what he's doing. So... Um, He had had to do like three bends on this sheet and uh, he recommended using epoxy. So I got some of that, but that'll probably be next week. And, uh, but yeah, I'm thinking uh, today, let's get this painted. Let's get some lights wired into place. And uh, that, that, that should be kind of interesting at the very least. On the other stuff, uh, as you all know, I'm doing the Corvette here, and I'm just doing it um, after work kind of deal. and No filming or anything like that. I'm just building, eh? And uh, so we got David's Corvette. Um, I can't remember if I showed that I got the, uh, the sacrificial strips painted or not. But anyways, you know, there they are now. They're, they're done in. And on top of that, we got, uh, it doesn't show up too well on camera, but we got fiber optics installed. I see they're all glued into place. And uh, you see they, they do light up. I like lit up models, obviously. I figure, well, if I got it, I got it. They're not at war today, right? So that's the little update on David's Corvette. Not too too much further, but I will say it's uh, it's an awful lot of work to just polish up those individual uh, fiber optics. And uh, last night I polished up uh, quite a few of these. Oh, man. I polished up the ends, and I, I've learned something now. When I polish up fiber optics, I cut them about inch and a half long 
easier to hang on to and I polish up both ends up on the sanding block and then uh, when it comes time to put them in the mall, snip them in half, stick one in, stick the other one in. Um, I've still got four more I gotta polish up but doing that we should be able to uh, get a bunch of fiber optics put into the portholes today as well. So, um, yeah, I'll just quit talking now. Uh, let's, I'll get recomposed here on the bench and uh, let's get doing some work. All right, see you in a bit. So, I uh, quickly realized that before I get all in lights and all that stuff, I'm going to have to put the uh, armor steel plate onto the deck here. So, uh, we'll just snip this part out of the photo etch. And, oh, okay.
what I'm using is actually one of my benders that came with the uh, foot bending tool. I'm just kind of using it as a spatula. This is JB Weld epoxy. Somebody probably gonna say this is not the right stuff, and I pretty much know that's not the right stuff. But here's my problem. I live in an itty bitty little town. I can get what sells. Got a six minute cure time on it. JB Wall is a pretty well trusted brand. I've fixed a lot of boo boos with JB Wall over the years. Thing off. I didn't even look. Oh, and I put my thumb in it. <laughs> I go to pick up the little block and I put my thumb right in that stuff. Yeah, well, I hope you all got to see that because I never looked up at the camera once. That was what you would call reoccupied. Okay, we're going. Now I did sand the uh, the back side of this thing down just to make sure this stuff does stick. Probably doing everything wrong. Oh, come on. Oh, not that one. That one's got gunk on it. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to hang on to this for the next five minutes. And uh, when I come back, you'll all know if it works. All right, so it's been uh, more than six minutes here. I took the clips off the ends and everything stayed in place. Um, trying to figure out how we're going to proceed from here. And I think I'm gonna give the, the top of this photo etch a good cleaning with some alcohol. And then I'm going to quickly paint the top of this deck with the XF82 Ocean Gray. And then, I'm thinking this water channel here, I might actually do in light gray, just for that little bit of contrast. There's enough of a difference. Probably a huge difference to everybody else, but I'm colorblind, so they're very close to me. So, as it looks, looks like it went A-OK. -okay. okay, I'm gonna get uh, set up for paint. I'll get recomposed. And uh, I'll meet you over there. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, so I should, uh, I gotta start looking before I start talking. So there's a little bit more photo which has to go on here. Um, this trough actually gets another piece that goes on directly on top of it. 
Uh, there's two hatches that cover these. And then over here, there's two more hatches, but they're supposed to be open. So these two here, we're going to add later on. Uh, these two, we're going to put on right now. And uh, this water channel, which is this uh, R276. We're going to paint it and then install it. That was way too much. Okay. This here. Testing number two. Whoa. Second hatch. Now, <clears throat> this channel here, I'm going to put that on after because we're going to paint it a different color. And uh, these hatches here, they uh, they got an actual backside to them, so they're going to be flopped open. So they're going to go on after this channel is installed. So, okay, let's uh, let's get some painting done here, and uh, we'll see you over at the booth. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to put some of the uh, gray on. Uh, quickly, I ran downstairs, and I just gave the undercoating of the, uh, the black, just to stop the light transmission. So, <clears throat> all right, here we go. All right, so uh, that's uh, that's about all the time we got there for this video. Um, so we got the uh, Pontos photo wedge deck installed. 
Uh, we got the uh, XF82 Ocean Gray sprayed down. And I also gave it a quick quick coat of uh, flat clear coat just to protect it because a lot of paints are delicate, right? So um, I'm going to let all this cure up a little bit. And then uh, it, it's still only uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon here for me. So I think I'm going to continue on. And uh, I don't know how long it'll be. But uh, check back on Wednesday. For sure, I think we're going to have a, another video. I, I can't promise it'll be full length. But uh, there'll be something at least anyway. So we'll continue on. Uh, we'll get some German gray sprayed on the side. And I think I'm going to put some lights in. So there's a little sneak, uh, sneak peek into Wednesday. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to follow for more. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.